Come on, come on, come Taste it, just test taste it. Good, that's wrong. Hey, that's wrong. That's wrong. Confirm. That is wrong. Pina, coming up. Fire in the hole. Am I, I, I shorter? Just go, you're not 5'11". Am I shorter or taller? <laughs> Come on, I mean, I, I'm 5'9". I'm pretty good at judging. Oh, yeah. That's a good jury. I'm much taller. Cheers, boys. Yeah. Hey, you. cheers, bro. Hey, mahalo. Yeah. Welcome to the family. Yeah. Mahalo. Oh, family. Oh, <laughs> just pour me one, too, okay? How's your bike? Awesome. Uh, great painting out here. His whole clothing thing was about. What? Where's the. Is Nathan here? I think so. Okay. This is Parzo, so I just wanted to make sure. Pete Claw. Can I get one of those? Yeah, Mike. Come on, man. Just kidding. You're a ninja. Hopefully. Ninja. Okay. Hopefully. And moved in to HQ3 the way it should be. I mean, I don't even know what's in. This is my dad's in all of this. Check this out. This looks like channel 47. Wait, wait. Give it to me. Dad? Get inside. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. Boom! Just like we calculated. That's how you transport a goldfish. Do you, do you know when this office will be complete? Finished? No. Are you ready for you to save the new office? No. Uh, nice. I don't like that. I don't like moving either, but this place stinks. So this place, according to All Business Pete, is supposed to be ready for Monday. It is Tuesday, April 30th. We'll see, can All Business Pete Make the deadline and we'll let you be the judge. Come on, let's check it out. This looks like, this looks like I'm about to be making cold calls, like I'm on the, sorry to bother you. Right. <laughs> Hi sir, can I interest you in a... Some barstool sports, <laughs> retail sports, and oh, also lifestyle. Dude, this is huge though. Like, let's be serious. Why are these not bar stools? These are bar stools. <laughs> not, not in the traditional bar stool sense, they're not. They have backs. Yeah, but yeah, that's. I mean, that seems like it would have been a no-brainer. That's why you got to involve the creative in this, man. That's that's a that's an easy, easy answer. This is the rundown set, and uh, yeah, so they'll be sitting up there. Here's Dave's office. Tough, uh, tough break for the king. No window directly in the office. That's tough. I just realized that now. This is the bar, U-shaped bar. Beautiful. It's going to be huge. I think we're going to have 
12, 10 or 12 seats here. So, should be dope. Shout out to New Amsterdam, they're hooking it up. It's gonna look fire. This is the men's bathroom. Now there's been a lot of talk about, a lot of controversy about this layout, but come on in. Dude, there's gonna be so much dump shaming going on. You have to wear a pair of fake dump shoes. Everyone has private dumps right now. Sometimes I just go to the bathroom now and I just I just like need a little mental break. These are low. Well, yeah, there's a difference between like... You can't really see the shoes. That's yeah, but it's true. the fact that it's possible, I think, that really will. But our people people are going to have to be... I think we should shame the people who are shaming. So if you're getting on your belly to look at someone's shoes to shame them, we should shame the people with dusty bellies from being on the floor for dump shaming. So this is our green screen room. State of the art. Look at the... Um, you know if you had the, the slam... The slanted floors like that, it's legit, like, shout out Pete. Hello, Peter. Rudy. How are we doing? All right. Peter! Hey, what's up, man? How did you pick your office? Huh? How did you pick this to be your office? Uh, it was open. Is this a smoking deck? No. What did we do in this office, since I know that you're a serious man who believes in, in predicting the futures? And God. What did we do in this office for up-and-coming talent who, you know, might not deserve their own studio now, but in a matter of one to two years, could very well be in the position of needing their own space. Nobody thought about that. And then whatever side he goes to, the side you bet on. Oh. It's very scientific. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does he win? He actually does pretty well. Actually, I don't know that. You know, I, I've always joked that I could picture people who make the decisions on like awards and stuff like that all getting in a room and being like, oh, oh my God, did you guys see that episode of Sonny? So funny. I love that show. It's just a great bit. Oh, yeah, that's, that's like my favorite show. Anyway, let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about who we're going to nominate for the Emmys this year. It's like two different conversations. How many 10-year-olds wearing bike helmets could you take down before they get you? So just a wave of 10-year-olds coming at you, Game of Thrones. Oh, it wouldn't matter. I'd get them all. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Infinite? Oh, I, I fucking destroy those kids. <laughs> Ten years old? Oh, they're fucked. Yeah, I'd, I'd be Jon Snow. I'd be Jon. I'd be Jon Snow all over that shit. <laughs> Like, leaving here, it's like everyone. I mean, the people are so fucking sentimental around here. It's like, we've been here for like a cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Milton, we had the same, that... Yeah, it just makes me reminisce about Milton. Milton was a move. This is nothing. I, I haven't looked at it. I don't care. I'll probably walk to the wrong office with the first day. I'll yeah. forget. Like, I haven't packed anything up. I just don't care. Sad. No. Sad. Big time sad stuff. And I became a man here. Yeah. I was a tyke. Now I'm an old man. And I'm in the minority that I actually like this place a lot. Yeah. Um, but I understand that we kind of outgrew it, so we need a bigger place. But I'm going to miss this place. Hmm. Definitely. I'm also kind of sad I get to, you know, some of these guys like Marty, Tommy, Jack, they're probably going to be a little separated from me now because the word on the street is just social media and pr production is kind of separate, so I'm going to miss those guys, you know? I got yelled at last week because I said I'm never going to see Marty again and it sounded like I was like a little kid at fucking summer camp, but it makes me sad, you know? We have a, a solid crew over here. And I feel like I'm never going to see these guys again, you know? A little emotional. Because all you have to do is make them feel like they were in power. Where'd whatever go? I threw it out. Why'd you throw it out? Because we told you to take it if you wanted to. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. All right. Make them feel empowered. Yeah. That's what Pete says. That's what you do with children. <laughs> okay, now you're just being mean, Peter. <laughs> It's like you, you, tell, you tell a kid, do you want to do A or B? And then they feel like they have a choice, but you didn't give a shit if they did A or B. You just wanted them to do one or the other. That's what the whole office is. What an asshole. My point is, this is Barstool. Right. The grittiness, the fact that Big Cat um, may need a hazmat suit cleaning out his Light own that fucking on corner. Fire. Like, it's, it's, it's a lot. However, if we would have had a little more order, a little more, uh, some more space, obviously, mm -hmm. This should have been home base. Nobody's changing the Boston Garden. Nobody changes Madison Square Garden. You just right. make some tweaks, but you still play there. 
Okay. I spent 25 years in Wall Street. I tell you that all the time. Yes. I threw up once. Okay. I threw up once. Why? I, had, I, I got ahead of myself drinking white wine and tequila one night. I threw up in my office once. I've been here for 10 months. I've thrown up twice. <laughs> Both times is when I made the mistake of inhaling yeah. when I opened up the refrigerator door. That's true. Which is a mistake only here. Yeah. People don't respect it. And listen, we're not moving over to the Javits Center. We're going a block over and two blocks up. Correct. So it's not, we're not moving into Buckingham Palace. They're going to find a way to ruin that office also. Uh, all right, Dave and I just want to have a quick meeting on the office move. What's really important to me is that we move to what hopefully will be a much better place and I think is going to be a better place, but that it stays barstool. So the mess, the chaos, like one of the greatest things about this company that everyone says every time anyone interacts with us or sees us is that we just have a very tight culture. We don't have a company where there's a ton of email. People talk to one another. They, they you know, cross collaborate. People do things together. So I want to be sure we keep that going into the new office and then we most of all keep it barstool. What do you anticipate the biggest problems being like next week at the office? Like what can we look forward to blaming you for? Everything. But like, what is going to be like the top problem, the the problem du jour? Like, there's not going to be enough shit at the office. Internet won't be fast enough. The move will be taking too long. People won't like where they're sitting. What can we blame you for? People won't like where they're sitting. That's for sure. I I know that for a fact as well. Yeah. It's like we're a bunch of kindergartners. Um, and then uh, I think it's just the little things that need to get uh, sussed out. Production and everything like that. I mean, we'll be in a pretty good spot. I think it'll be much better than here, if uh, if you guys recall how this went. Um, but I think uh, I think on the production side, it's probably where we're out to you know figure out what people want because nobody knows what they want and uh, how to deliver it. What are the chances that on Monday or Sunday night, late Sunday night, we get an email saying, "Do not come in on Monday. It is not ready." Zero. That's so could it be ready right now? One. Does that mean we could go right now? No. Yeah, it does. What the fuck. <laughs> I was talking about last Monday. <laughs> So you're saying that it's all going to get done in the next four days? Yes. It's 100%. There's no chance that anything could go wrong. There's a, there's a chance, but I don't see how it would be disqualifying. So for there is a chance. In. Is there TV there yet? No. None. Direct TV refuses. So to what do we stuff. have right now? Nothing. So we can't watch games there? No, not right now. That's a problem, Pete. Well, I got Direct TV. Uh, Today is the seventh install date. Uh, so we'll see what we can do. Uh, so this is all Jared Carabas' shit because he just left this week. Like legitimately was like, I'm just not cleaning. So I threw away every single thing that he owns on that desk. Every single thing. Oh, except for the rocket beer. I was nice and I left him. <laughs> just, just the one piece of shit that he left for all of us. All right, I'm ready with ready? that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Get it. Is someone getting this in the chicken feed? Probably. This feels very Korean. Oh, yeah. Just get to throw everything away. Yeah. I get to throw all of Jared's stuff away because you're so cute. Nice. Taking out the trash. When I walked back in after trying that the first time, Albert looked at me and goes, I am so sorry that you don't work with gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like the both of us are. These... Wow, I forgot. We gotta say goodbye to him. I think he's leaving today. I think Ebony said his last day is today. What? I think, that might have been, uh, I might have made that up. You might have made it's that up. Good. Throwing out the trash. Out the trash, Albert. Just throwing out the trash. Moving day, let's go. Let's go. Did you know that Mother's Day is only a week away, and roses are a perfect way to surprise all the mothers in your life? 
These breathtaking roses from 1-800-Flowers are picked at their peak and shipped overnight to ensure freshness. To order a dozen multicolored roses plus an additional bouquet, all for the price of $29.99, go to 1-800-Flowers.com, click the radio icon, and enter code STOOL, S-T-O-O-L, as in a poop. Hurry! This fantastic offer ends Friday. You start being like everybody else, looking like everybody else, you become everybody else. That's what people said when we moved here. It's like, oh, fancy digs and shit. Like, again, I grew up a little bit different than almost every single person in this company. Like, oh, Gaz is going through this old, all, all the old stuff that my mom brought. I went from, like, my studio apartment to Milton. I mean, Milton, we had squirrels eating the internet. There were literally squirrels running around the office chewing up the wires. We just bat the squirrel away. There was like leaves that would blow in, windows. I mean... I do remember thinking as a big time reader and follower of Barstool at the time, like, how the fuck do they have squirrels not allowing them to have internet when they're an internet company? <laughs> <That was just laughs> squirrel lived in the damn thing. I'd have a squirrel, like, he'd just be sitting on my desk, like, looking at me, be like, yo, Dave. He was basically an employee. <laughs> I thought... I thought you guys would have like three backups, like servers, whatever the fuck you no. want to call them, to ensure no matter what you had perfect. We'd internet. have like the internet companies come in and they try to fix it and look, and then they'd be, like, "Well, you got the squirrel that keeps eating the wires, so there's not much you can do." I like to click the link. It was. Um, seating chart? What? Seating chart? No, on my phone, yeah. So you will, when you get a crate, pack up your crate, put a number on it. Or if you have a monitor, put a number on it. Anything you want to, sorry, to appear there, put a number on it. Your number. You guys are sitting next to each other or just skip the number? 17 1. That's you. Cool, thank you. I agree. Like, I should just show everyone the scene chart, but, like, you it's not. Put it up on the scene. It's not my decision. Should I just put it up there and we just have a. An, an, then no one fucking asks. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I, I, can't, I can't do this. I'm gonna. I, I'm just trying to do my job, alright? I, I mean, like. I'm giving stickers to people and they're freaking out. Like, Can I see it? Craziness. It's the seating chart. I mean, I'm just doing my job, people. That's it. Can I see it? Yeah, sure. I just think it's funny that you're getting pissed off. You do this job. This is why I'm not saying the seating chart, because you think that people are upset about numbers. They're going to be upset about where they're sitting. There's no information on that. I here. really don't care. I'm sitting. I think you know where you're sitting. I know. I, you I know where I am. Have you seen? No. Yeah. No, like where I'm. I don't know. I do. I didn't look for you. I actually just kind of assumed they weren't going to bring you to the new office. I'll go home. Fine. Yeah. I'm not gonna cry, but act like you don't care. That's just like, not. I true. don't give a fuck about I any of you. I don't care at all. I also am sitting next to Rhea. Like, yeah. I know that. It was never. I was never not going to be next to her. Yeah. <laughs> There's nobody to the left of Fran. Whoever else is around. So be it. I am so ecstatic. I can't tell. No, I, 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 no, I really can't. I am really pleased. I really am. I mean, I think Francis likes us. Yeah, come on. Come on. We did get the birthday. We're buddies. We're friends. We figured it out I can't through tell the numbers. Serial killer, we figured it out through the numbers. Yeah. 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 13 odd, 14 even. Okay. So I think we're looking at 14 units. But our back is this way. But our back is to the is trying to get one last meme. This, this no, went from being such a happy day in Discovery to like really bad. Daniela Francis is really disappointed. <laughs> every, yes. every single thing I've heard from over there is wrong. Prince, Prince. I, I kind of get it. I just don't know, really understand why, like, why we can't just know. It's like the dumbest thing ever. Like that we can't just. I have a theory that that's, I have a theory that's for content. That way it would be like he'll walk in like. No. Oh, whoa. That's Couldn't be that. It's five o'clock on a Tuesday. Everybody is starting to clean. Uh -oh. My desk it is so oh, no. messy, <laughs> and my water <laughs> bottles yeah, smell my like bottle. gasoline. Why won't Liz help me clean? I don't have a 
chorus for it yet. Clean up my desk, it's disgusting. Clean up my and desk I'm, today. I'm so bad at tidying. Kate is over there lurking. Picking off garbage from me. We just can't, I don't want to, like, we need to spread all this shit out. I will do it tonight. I will absolutely do it tonight. We need to put all these in the middle and then go through each one. And then we can just create a donation and then we just give it to Danielle so we don't have to do it on Sunday. I'm in for it. I'm 100% in for it tonight. I just don't, do you see what I'm saying? Like we gotta, we gotta bring, we should just bring them all out to there. We should clear out the space in the middle, bring it all out to there, and then start going through each one. And then we can just systematically go through. Okay, so the pile started, I think, with when we first moved into this office, we said, everyone send us mail, and we will do a video series where we open it. Good idea. We'll leave it at that. Problem with that idea is we actually have to open it and do stuff. Welcome to Four Guys, Four Guys, Mailman. Okay, that's the worst gift that we've ever gotten. Hey, thanks a lot for the present, asshole. Julius Peppers played basketball in college. It would be awesome if you just sent us packaging stuff. Oh, ho, look at that. What is it? D-Train. Oh, hey, great excuse. Great excuse. That's I, actually a really nice present. That's, that's let's show people. Is that, yeah. who makes it? Is that starting lineup or what? Oh, uh, it, it, it's McFarland.com and JohnsRiverScience.com. They don't make these, I don't think. But you should go there if you're looking for a, a customized podcast license plate. Want some of my man cam? Yeah, thanks. Kill, get kill, kill him shotgunning his. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. Should have thought of that. Well played. This wine tastes. It's great. This wine is as good as a, a canned wine can taste. Okay, this is from a football guy in Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah. Whoa. This might this be chalk. This has to be chalk. This is chalk. Hey, Caleb, you want to open this one up for me? Yeah, I got you. Oh. How's that Cruzies. Taste? I Same think we were kind of products of our environment, too, because yeah. Big Cat has the corner spot. Yeah. And so the corner is just naturally where things gravitate towards. Mm -hmm. So we had all these boxes that we just started stacking up behind his chair. And then before you know it, Big Cat's just throwing his like every T shirt that he gets. Every T shirt, everything that's been sent to me. Uh the other thing I have is I am a big uh after I eat, I need to sometimes costume change, as I say in the theater business, I think. And by that I mean I will go from a T shirt to a sweatshirt, back to a bigger sweatshirt to a smaller sweatshirt. Basically anytime I eat something I feel like I need to cover myself in a blanket. So I made sure I had like blankets on deck. You need to get that examined, that tendency. I feel like you need to unpack that. Well every it's time because every, I feel every, fat. I'm, every, I'm I'm on the edge of being like grossly fat and every time I eat something I I go over that edge It's got no articulation like no. this. No. Because that's um, problematic. Yeah. Oh, but we could do like, got it. Yeah, okay. Probably not the best idea. Where you want to hold? Uh, yeah. I only. What the fuck did I say? I was trying to. What did I say? Look, it didn't even leave a mark. <laughs> There's no mark. You can't really see it. Sorry, Pete. Uh,. All I wanted to do was make sure the ceilings were high enough and there were no columns. And did, they, we, did we succeed? No. 
we picked a place with columns and the ceilings are marginal. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Oh, oh. Cool. Can it cut through? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's a fucking axe. That seems like an Ikea. How hard do you want me to swing the strap? Hey, as hard as you, you can. Go. I see the... All the way down. Well, hey, remember, hey, remember, spider. Spider. You're swinging. spider. Do it! <laughs> do it! <laughs> Give it everything. Oh! <laughs> That was awesome. That was so fun. Oh, yo. That Careful pass. your toes. Come on, get a swing in. Careful, hey, YP. Oh, no. YP, be careful your toes. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is so fun. Yes. This is why people do this. Oh, okay. these are cardboard. Who's <laughs> next? <laughs> Up. All right, Pete. The spider just called. The spider called it. <laughs> He's right to watch yourself and follow through. Yeah. yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's why I don't trust myself. That was yeah. so fun. That was a good time. Oh, damn. Cool. Wait, why do we have that? Wow, these good? tables right are right legitimately right cardboard. That was a good time. Really? Like these Dude, tables are actually straight cardboard. The inside is cardboard. Wait, Steve Chay, you didn't act. Steve Chay, get a swing it. Yeah. Get a swing, on, brother. Hey, watch just watch, watch, watch your toes yeah, on the fall. Watch, watch your toes on the fall. Watch the fall. Deep, go deep. Oh, 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 I actually don't want to see them. Right, finish it, finish it. Just be careful. Steve is in three. That video. Oh, yeah. This is the axe. This from Cowboy Jacks. Yeah, okay. The axe is hard, so that's That video is really good. You got, the, you got the best of it. You got the yeah, I know. They weakened it for me. I, I just cleaned up the scraps. How sick is it? It just breaks it. It was an absolute delight. This is Cube Farm back here. Not, and then we have the two offices side. By the way, nothing is done. As you can see, we're supposed to get the trash all there. We don't really don't know who's here. This is the real deal. Yeah. It's Bird here. Cage. It's how is he gonna get, how is he gonna get this? I, I've actually looked, I don't know how to open it either. <laughs> this is Brett, he's a new guy. Uh, what, what's your exact title? Office manager. Office manager. Wanted Listen to me. know what they knew Fuck and what- radio right now. If you worked for me, I'd fire your ass. <laughs> Sorry, And I'll tell Sorry, you Mr. why. Chad. So we got two of these bathrooms. I think Erica gets one, since she's the only female here. All right, hey, are you gonna, hey, you gonna put your fist <laughs> No, what? I'm not gonna. Why? You're not a, you're a football guy anymore, Mark? What did you do with your man? I'm trying. Hey, it's just a great combination of, of, <laughs> Of red man and urine. I don't know. Holy shit! Hey, you want me to hide in a bunker here? You gotta be fucking shit! I'm gonna tell you this one time, Pat fucking twist. And I ain't fooling. What I don't know. All them things that I don't know could get you killed if I come to know them. And I ain't joking. You got no idea how bad it gets. I'm not you. I can't make it on one or two high altitude fucks once or twice a year. You are too much for me, Goker. Horsome son of a bitch. I wish I knew how to quit you. <laughs> so why don't you? <laughs> why, why, why don't you just let me be, huh? <laughs>
<laughs> Get the fuck off me! Face it just how we were. But like in the same angle. I mean, you're, you're way healthy. Yeah, to be honest, like, calling you, 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 call you cancer, dude, is an insult. Yeah. Do I get that? Do I get that? Like, are you mansplaining that we just have to go Hey, I'm UFC President Dana White. Hi, I'm Ricky Williams. Hey, I'm Steve Zahn. And I'm Lamorne Morris. What's up? Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm filling in for Caleb today. What's up, guys? I'm Big Cat. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm Ellie. Hey, friends. I'm Uncle Chaps from Zero Block 30, and I'm filling in for Caleb today. What's up? It's Judah Friedlander. He's going to get a first try. He's got You're athletic, your basketball ability is not good. No, but it's it's better yeah, than what we have whatever. out there. <laughs> I really don't give a fuck. My my issue my my issue it's like my eighth best sport. Look at me, I'm Karabis. I like baseball. Ooh, cool. It's a knuckle sandwich. It's a, it's a Scott McKissick. Throwing breeze. That's Drew Brees' father. With one handed pig snag. That's a pig snag, guys. The fire salamander <laughs> is impervious to fire. It is from Europe and it goes to the water to breed. Um, it can lay 20 to 30 eggs. It's highly toxic and it eats insects, worms, and other invertebrates. Next slide, please. those and like tales from the cube basically so one good thing we've never been able to capture real-time interactions with people we miss so much shit not anymore 24 7 big brother we'll see how it is